and now I can add structural members. If you don't have any options here for your structural members, then you'll need to go into the design library, go into SolidWorks content, go into weldments, and choose these zip files, the ones that you might want to have optional for, for adding structural members. So this will have a, this particular zip file will have a whole set of structural members that meet the ANSI standard available for using in your extrusions. Uh, now when you unzip those, the, the location of those and the file structure in which you unzip them to is important. So if we go into the C drive and look under SOLIDWORKS data, you, you should have or create a weldments folder in SOLIDWORKS data. Okay, this is the zip file that I downloaded and extracted to here. And notice there are two folders under weldment, an ANSI inch and an ANSI inch. And then within that, there are subfolders containing, say, various C channels. Okay, you'll want to make sure you maintain that file structure, particularly from here down. Um, you can direct SOLIDWORKS to a different folder than weldments. For example, you might want to maintain a set of these that are custom. So you might want to have a custom, custom, and then put your custom profiles in there that you can easily create. Okay, to change that path, you go into Solid Edge Options and File Locations, and then Find Weldments, Weldment Profiles, and you notice I've added some new file locations. Here's the standard SOLIDWORKS data weldments ANSI inch, but I've also added a custom path and custom inch, custom metric, and then an, another custom metric for some reason, one of those would be redundant and unnecessary. So you can add a path and create your own weldment profile uh, options and in trees, if you will.